Hello everyone, this is Prussian Prince with another Imperator Rome Let's Play episode as Seleucid Empire. Um, so, what are we doing here as Seleucid Empire, or actually, as I like to call it, Seleucid Empire? Well, first of all, why are we also starting another Let's Play? Well, it's because I haven't actually seen any other Seleucid Empire uh, Let's Play posted on YouTube. Um, just couldn't find one, so I decided to start my own. So you can see some gameplay footage of the Seleucids. Um, as for the Roman Let's Play, well, it's still gonna happen. I'm gonna be posting it up later today, an episode, and after that it should be going down to one episode a day for both of these Let's Plays. I think I'm gonna post a couple more episodes of the Seleucid Empire, uh, you know, like, uh, until I go to one episode a day for that as well, so... Uh, anyway, we will see, uh, but first of all, Seleucid Empire, why? Seleucids. Well, it's because, yes, they are big, but they have Moria to the east. First of all, let's just start into the game. So, we have the Eastern Satrapies here event that we start off with. So, it says, Decades ago, Alexander invaded India and extended his empire to the Indus. But the many wars between the successor kings have left these Eastern Satrapies isolated and weak. In the past, Shang... Chandra Gupta Maurya In the past year Chandra Gupta Maurya has united northern India. Yes, there we go I hope I pronounced that as correctly as I could crushing the Nanda Empire while sweeping in over the Greek satraps in the Indus Valley It has been suggested that we should cut our losses and give up the last of the eastern satrapies to the Mauryas or this conflict could drag out for years a truce would also buy us the time we need to consolidate our own empire and defeat the other successors. So, we have two options here. Let us negotiate with the Marias, so um, where we get elephants. We, one of our cities now produces elephants. And we gain, looks like, five units of war elephants. And we, have, we also lose a couple of provinces here and there. Um, which is unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. But the good thing here is that we get a truce with the Moria until 465. So for 15 years, they will be, you know, unable to touch us. So that's a really good thing. Um, now, the other one here is we will offer them no such thing. It's really bad because we get local unrest and, uh, you know, Mo Moria's will, you know, probably just declare on us. So that's not going to be a good thing, Moria. Um, I'm gonna go with the top one here because I don't want to die day one. I, I don't think that I can stop them. I mean, let's take a look at their cohorts. They have 95 cohorts. They have a lot more and they have more manpower. So I feel like, I feel like giving up the land is going to be a smart thing, you know, and especially because the issue with Seleucids, right, is that they have a lot of internal stability issues. So, yeah. At least in terms of score, I'm 6th, I guess. So, that's not too bad. Let's negotiate with the Marias. Unpause. Well, not unpause yet. But let's take a look at our nation to start things off. So, nation overview. Okay. So, we have what is currently a... Um... So, what do we have? Well, we have two oratory ideas and a military idea that we need to get. In order to get our matching bonus here. Which would be really, really cool. We are also a major power here. All right, so let's take our first military idea. It is, it is military, just confirming. Yes, it is. So we can go for this, this, or this. I think this one isn't as good. We don't really need ships. This one is decent, but the one that I want the most is going to be martial ethos, right? Because morale of armies is just really good. Okay, so we took the morale of armies. Now we have two oratory ideas, and this is where it gets a little bit more difficult, right? So we can go monthly corruption, monthly general, and monthly admiral loyalty, or we can go improve opinion maximum. Uh, but, you know, for oratory, I feel like the best ones here are uh, this one, the monthly corruption. And then the military administration is also very good, especially as we will have loyalty issues uh, from what I remember. Okay, so now that we start off with that... That should help a lot. Let's take a look at our nation status. So for culture, we 
have issues here because only 60 well basically we have 66 percent persians here so yeah this is a little bit weird here <laughs> uh, now the religion is again yeah we have issues with religion because we have 71 percent zoroastrians and we are basically that's not how it's supposed to be, right? So, we need to convert them to Macedonians. And we need to convert them to Hellenic. Because that's what we are, basically. As you can see there. Um, what does it actually show the, that we are Macedonians? Ah, there it is. <laughs> of course. I, was, I couldn't see it, but like, yeah. It was right in front of me. I knew it was showing up somewhere. Yeah. So yeah, we are Hellenistic group here. And we are also, we need to convert people to Hellenic, so. This is gonna be hard. It's gonna be very hard. Now. We also have a bunch of slave citizens, freemen. Thing is, we have 25% tribesmen. That's also something we want to get rid of. I mean, freemen, citizens, and slaves, that's okay to have. But tribesmen, don't really like them. Um... Anything else here? Well, the traditions, we have Greek traditions, we're not gonna touch them for now. There should be other things that we will... We will definitely need to do a lot of things here. Um, technology is very good, potentially. I mean, the inventions. Learning on the job can be pretty cool. Starting experience is nice. Um, economy, diplomacy... Oh, religion! So, we have... Only 5% religious unity because most of our pops are not of our religion, right? What this means is that the omen power is extremely terrible. Making omens not worth it for 200 religious power. We get these really minimal boosts that don't really do anything. So omens become good when you have high religious power. But currently we don't. So not really worth taking right now. I mean, just for let's say 2% research points, 2% national power for 200 religious power. Not really worth it. However, however, um, let's take a look at what inventions we can take. So I think I'm going to start off with what is going to be not a trireme discipline, but learning on the job can be, I think it's pretty good. Let's see the other stuff. I mean, extra taxes and that kind of stuff is great. And technology speed is good, but I don't think we should focus. Should we focus on technology or on the taxation? Because taxation would be something, you know. You know what? Let's go for herbalism, you know. Although we do have... Hmm. When is that going to finish? 478. That's going to be a while. Maybe tech. No, maybe not right now. Because we don't actually have that many citizens. You know what? I'm going to go for the tax. Just go for the tax. Ignore that for now all right so we have that settled the technology tab religion tab is, is mostly settled we will need some more religious power to do things now let's look at this tab so we can go for tributary income here what are tributaries actually subjects uh idea bennett you know what just put them on that one although it would be awesome if they could give us more money but you know it is what it is. I think that's okay, because that's going to drop their opinion a lot. So, not sure I really want that. Now, the wages here. I kind of... The thing is, we probably need high wages. As for army maintenance, yeah, everything is default here. I think that's okay, but let's take a look at a region map mode. So, over here, this is media. We... You know what? We shouldn't really prepare for war yet. That's fine. Um, however... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the army, fleet, and fort maintenance because we need to make some money at the start and we need to increase the wages. It's definitely what we need to do. Um, now we have some armies here, which is okay. I'm going to actually... Let's take a look. Do we have any CBs on anyone? Guaranteeing Mastodon and Thrace. That's fine. Granting military access. We don't have any claims, so that's okay. But what we do have, though, is a lot of money. We could convert this into a bunch of powerpoints. That would be something. Um, and maybe we should do it now before, you know, 
something terrible happens. But, okay, let's go to the nation overview. Let's check out citizens. We have citizen government policies. Oh, yes. We are mostly, we need to keep doing more cultural conversion, right? With our oratory power, that's what we're gonna have to do. We also have to look at our laws. So what kind of laws we get? These marriages are okay, slave draft. Now probably non-interference edict could be pretty cool. Taxation laws, um... This is fine. Infrastructure policy might be cool, because we get higher. Eh. Interesting. Relax citizenship status. Um, that might not be bad to eventually get it, but we're not going to worry about citizens for now. Tribal integration. Yeah, omen duration. This is national citizen happiness. Oh, this is very interesting. Renowned lineage. Oh, yeah, probably sponsored scholars would be the thing or reminting policy is very good this one doesn't seem so good royal bureaucracy anyway what should we use our points on well i feel like oratory is gonna be good because take a look at this right so we look at this province here okay let's let's hover over it so we actually have a lot of um uh, unfortunately it doesn't say what we have here oh we also have unused trade we don't have any civic points to use on that, so that's okay. Fortunately, we're getting a lot of power, which is very nice. Um, our guy is 91265. Okay, that's pretty good. I can deal with that. I can definitely deal with that. Now, the thing is, what should we do with our money, right? Because, okay, let's say if we put our money, if we put everything on the middle, right? And we still make a bunch of money, so that's not terrible. But if we put everything on the minimum... And let's take a look at our forts, right? We have some forts here and there. We we have enough forts. Yeah, that's, that's okay. We'll keep those forts as they are. Now, what to do with our money, right? We could invest it. I probably will want to invest it, right? Because, let's see. So, sit the Senate. Okay, we'll need to look at Babylon, right? Okay, Babylon is our capital. What's Babylon going to be good at? We probably need granaries to keep slaves happy and marketplaces to keep the citizens working efficiently, right? Our commerce isn't that great. So the real question is training camps. Uh, we don't. OK, so in our capital, here's the thing. Our capital gets boosts from um, being. Where is it? Where does it say? OK, capital region. OK, but why is this not getting boosts from? everything else like capital isn't this the capital city capital region capital area what okay i'm not quite sure here capital region where's isn't babylon or oh no it's this one never mind okay so this is our capital here did I have the... Oh, no, it's not. Okay, never mind. It's this one. I thought Babylon was... But it's not really. Um... Okay, so we need to look at Babylon here. This is the one that gets the bonus, right? It's weird, though, that... Uh... Okay, provinces map mode. Where's the provinces map mode? Should be here. There it is. Get the Senate. Yeah, there. that's the one. Okay, so here we are on... Precisely what we need. Cultural assimilation. Um, there you go. So, over here we don't have everyone as part of our... Wow, there's a lot of Hellenic people here. Um, yeah, Macedonian, 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 Babylonian. We need to make sure everyone here is Macedonian, right? Like, that's the thing. So that's fine, just keep converting them, you know? That's more than fine. Okay. What are we gonna do in Babylon? Well, we have a bunch of citizens, right? So what we need to do here is have granaries, which isn't ideal, but we're gonna go for the marketplaces here. I'm gonna build, let's say build, because if we build that many, then we can't actually, you know what? Let's build like maybe two marketplaces want to convert some of this wait why did that it suddenly became more expensive 
Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna decide if we want civic or if we want oratory. I feel like oratory is gonna be an issue because we need to do a lot of... Um, okay, so this guy here is doing that. This isn't great here. We need to do cultural conversion on these. What's the loyalty like? We definitely need to do cultural conversion here. These are all like medians and stuff. Okay. So. Babylonia, na na na. Okay. Slave, 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 slave. Okay, there's a bunch of people here. There's a lot of people here. Okay. Over here, this is... Oh, that one is dropping. Okay, so... We're gonna be looking at our... Uh, Okay, so we have the the region is here Mesopotamia and if we look at the provinces Let's say this one here. Th these guys should be getting boosts for a capital region. Yes capital area is Only going to be this one Keep the scene and Babylonia is Gonna get some boost right, but we're also doing the government policy here, which is okay Part of Mesopotamia, Mesopotamia. We need to look at what's Mesopotamia, right? Um, there's no more Mesopotamia, which is sad. Okay, there it is. Okay. Sumer. Oh, it's doing that cultural assimilation also. Okay, these guys here are not ideal. Okay, this one is fine. This one is okay. The good thing is, okay, yeah, we definitely need to do um, cultural conversion everywhere where we can. So, Media Magna. Not is there everyone in Mesopotamia actually doing things here? Parthia, that's Parthia. First sis, first sis. You know what? I'm. I wish I could. Oh no, I can actually click on them here. I forgot. Okay, so Chaldea. These guys here are doing what they should be doing. They're. Mm, yeah, religious conversion sounds fine. I'm not gonna change it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna look at the province map more like this. These guys have a lot of pops. These guys also have a lot of pops here. Look at that. Cultural, cultural, culture. Mesopotamia superior. 91 there. Okay, 146. Religious conversion. 112. Cultural assimilation. Yes. These guys here don't seem to be... Are there like no Macedonians there? My goodness, I guess there's like no Macedonians here. Yeah, there are literally no Macedonians here. There are some Macedonians in here. Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 no. This doesn't say what they are. Right? It just says the cities. What am I saying? But probably, we could probably find some, potentially some Macedonians here, you know, but... I wish it, like, the UI was, like, telling me more easily what stuff is, right? If we cl click here, surely... Oh no, there's these are only ba uh, Babylonians, but here... Yes, there we go, there are some Macedonians. <laughs> okay. What I want to do here is... These guys are getting a lot of loyalty, cultural assimilation. Now it's dropping, which is okay. Civilization effort, this is dropping a little bit. Encourage trade, fine. Um, okay, we have oratory skill. So I want to buy political favors. Let's buy two of them. The autonomy, local autonomy. Um, th this one here is province of. It's part of. Does it say capital region? Yes. Okay, so 95 here. These guys get a lot, but again, local autonomy here is terrible. Just cultural assimilation. These guys here, Susiana. This is not capital region. No, it's not. And again, this is. You guys have like way more than enough, so just go cultural assimilation again, right? Like you don't have, yeah, they don't have the right culture, so there you go. Just culturally assimilate every single one. Now we can spend more money on that, which is okay. Just go to our capital. I keep thinking it's Babylon, but you know, it's just the, not. So I'm gonna buff up the marketplace there, right? Because that's what I feel like is going to be a good thing. And we spent our civic, we spent our oratory, very fine. I haven't used the trade routes here, which would be good to actually use. Um, now in trade overview, we have blocked surplus. We don't want to trade away our sur surplus. There's some scorn families here. Omirid. Only Omirid? 
Oh, th that's an omitted actually. So, um, this guy here, omitted, omitted. We need to find an omitted. Okay, Epi menace. What does this give? National tax is good. I need to pick. Okay, omitted. I need to find an omitted. This guy right here. I should not scorn them anymore, right? Okay, so let's unpause finally and see what's up. Peace in our time. Excellent. Okay, now that's going to hurt our uh, stuff. Okay, so we found we finally have some elephants here. The supply limit is not good enough. <laughs> um, okay, let's just unpause and see what we get. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, so here's the deal. These guys here, shock should be the best. Um, I don't really like. Okay, so what does shock? boost it doesn't boost archers it boosts heavies and elephants we're gonna get rid of the heavies uh, the non heavies and you know archers here archers light cap hello so we're gonna put the these guys here on shock huge boost okay now we're gonna get these guys here we just want to make sure that all our troops are around and we, we can use them properly these, these 9,000 here, is everyone moving? 10,000 here aren't moving, that's fine. Just we're gonna move them there, we're gonna reorganize everything and that should be good. Patroclid and Tauromenid? Okay. This guy's terrible. Patroclid? Yes, there you go. Omirid and... Yeah, these guys are just... Scorned still, which is not good. Yeah, there's they're not really that big taurum and need yeah we want the an eight guy there where's the taurum and there he is oh no it only picked the six what Ooh, we got a bunch of claims so this gives us a lot of cvs Macedon, thrace phrygia no 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 phrygia would be good and egypt and moria like not really we want probably expanding into phrygia Oh, and Egypt is gonna be a good thing. I'm going to accept this because that's gonna be useful. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna actually move troops to the west here. I'm gonna move those guys there too. That should help. But anyway, that's enough for now. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Follow me on social media. I'll see you all next time.